And today I'm going to do another PSA, public service announcement. Now, I wasn't going to do this particular video today, but it has been gnawing at my brain. It's just been sitting there going, you need to say this. I have made it to as many years as I am making trials and errors with doctors. And I have come to this conclusion and I want to share with you, for those of you just starting on a journey of your needing to see doctors all the time, or you have a child that you're going to go see, taking to the doctors all the time. And here is something that at 53, I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, I started really seeing doctors all the time at 20. So probably hit and miss in these last years, what you have to do is you have to be your own advocate. And by that, I mean, you need to fight for if you think you need your heart checked and those tests done, you need to go on that treadmill to have your heart take a stress test. Do it. If I mean, fight for it. If you need, if you think you hit your head a little too hard and you're still hearing ringing in the ears or seeing Tweety Birds running around your head, you know, ask for that MRI or ask for that CAT scan. I mean, it's your body. You're paying for it, not them. They're just, they don't like being told what to do if it is what it is. And here are some little, for instances, I was taking a hormone replacement therapy. I was taking estrogen. I was taking the smallest amount that you could possibly take without taking any at all because due to a total hysterectomy a long time ago, but that's a whole nother story. The point is I got put on the lowest dose of estrogen because I was only 23, so you still kind of need some at that age. And so throughout the years, I would occasionally ask the doctors, they're like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. But then starting in the early 2000s, I think the 2010s were getting really aggressive. I, I started saying, they're talking about it can give you cancer. Oh no, don't worry, don't worry. And I'm like, I've been on this for like almost 20 something years. Don't you think that, or 17 anyway, 17, 20, it doesn't really matter at this point. I was on it for quite a long time. Don't you think, oh no, 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 don't worry. Okay, so I listened for a little while and then I listened to that gut feeling, which I've done a video a while back about listening to your gut feelings. And I decided not to take any more of it. And a month later, I had my mammogram, my very first mammogram. I did a video on that too. And guess what? I had cancer. And I didn't just have any cancer. I had estrogen-driven cancer. I was taking estrogen and it was like miracle grow for grass. I was feeding my cancer food, but I didn't know I had breast cancer at the time. Okay, so that's one. I um, found out the truth sort of about what the doctor did to me in order for me to become wheelchair bound. And he didn't like what I had to say. So I got blackballed from every neurosurgeon in this whole county. No other neurosurgeons will see me. And that was back in 2010. 2011 and I still cannot get a neurosurgeon to see me and a lot of them out of the, the place don't want to see me because I've had 13 surgeries on my head who wants to follow behind you know this guy over here and so that's another time I was an advocate for myself I mean you really really need to be a spokesperson for yourself who's gonna speak up for you another time Probably one of my most favorite stories that I'll tell people when I say you've got to stick up for yourself. Thankfully, if I'm unconscious and I'm in this position where they might go go ahead and try to do it, everybody around me knows you can't do this to her. I had Skippy come in and he had this big ass needle and 
And the last time I saw one of those was for an amniocentesis, which for those of you who do not know, that's a big needle and they stick it in your belly button with no painkiller, no nothing to check out the fluid and everything of how the baby's doing and how you're doing. Anyway, I digress. He come in with this big ass needle and he was like, all happy. He's like coming towards me and I'm like, what are you going to do with that? I'm going to do a spinal tap on you. No, you're not. Because I know I cannot have spinal taps done to me. So if I didn't know that and if I had spoke up and if, if the other person in the room with me that did, you know, also knew that I cannot have them, if nobody was in there to speak up for me, I would have got jacked up because due to the pressure in my head, if I have a spinal tap, it will suck my brain to my spine and I will be worse than the wheelchair bound person I already am. Okay. And my last, last one was after breast cancer, fortunately for me, I only had it on one side. And fortunately for me, I only had a lumpectomy, which is different than a mastectomy. They don't take the whole thing off. They just go in and take the lump out, however much that is. And they take it out and to loo. And then you do still have to have treatment. But after that, they told me, since it was on my left side, do not ever let them do anything to you. Don't let them do blood pressure. Don't let them do lab work. Don't let them do anything on your left arm because you could end up with lymphedema, which I looked it up. Lymphedema sounds really awesome. I'm being facetious. It's not something awesome. It's not something I want. I don't need more stuff happening to me. I just want to keep you guys all informed. For those who do actually take my advice or are learning something new that you may or may not know, you are allowed to speak up. You are allowed to tell doctors or nurses or whatever, no, you're not doing that to me. Why are you doing that to me? I mean, you need to ask. I mean, if if you're taking your child there and they can't speak, you're like, okay, you're taking them back there to give them vaccinations the regular vaccinations not this the monster the monster vaccination um anyway i do hope that you follow me at tammy key 710 on instagram i do hope you subscribe to me i do hope you like this it really does help me out and for those of you who've only come to see my awesome amazing service dog even though now She is completely retired. I do not take her anywhere with me, but she does do videos still with me. Here she is. Say hi, everybody. I want to thank you. Bye.